Protection has been disabled. You can head to Ragnarok any time now. Zero, hurry back. That's not the right voice for the operator. Transferring in two, one. Welcome back. If we don't stop Ragnarok, Area Zero is done for, and the last of nature goes with it. You can't fail. The world is counting on you, and... Make sure you come back, okay? Well, I don't make promises to you, but... I mean, whatever. Anyway, uh, hi, I'm Tuneman432, and welcome to the last part of the uh, Mega Man Zero 04 playthrough Let's Play thing. Uh, before we go to Ragnarok, we're gonna check out, um, a few things. This crafting system I never really talked about. So yeah, here it is. So yeah, we don't have any plans here. Sometimes the, um, the caravan members might give out plans so you know how to craft stuff, but no. I don't know how to craft anything, and, uh, basically, unless you buy the player's guide, nobody does. So I'm trying to remember how to make double jump booch. I think I used the Karosh and some magnet enemy? Enemy? But I don't know. Here's me experimenting with this. Really sped up. Yeah, you can make like different armor and upgrades and stuff, but I don't know anything about that. If you want to learn, just look up the player's guide or whatever. Anyway, here's uh, Alouette. You can upgrade your Cyber Elf here. You just give it E-Crystals. I was only able to evolve it one time because I don't have enough crystals. You gotta do quite a bit of farming to get to the maximum level. But yeah, I showed you this before. You could just turn up the upgrades and stuff and get more health. Pretty neat. This dude here, forgot his name, but he just gives you information sometimes. And, uh, yeah, he just basically encourages us to go destroy Ragnarok, man. But anyway, let's go do that. Right now. Final mission. Um, first, though, I'm gonna go get collect some uh, energy for, you know, E-Tex. There you go. Just got all the energy for the e tanks, and now we're ready. Let's do this. It's finally time for Ragnarok. I'll transfer you inside. Try to find a way to disable Ragnarok's core without destroying it. If the core is destroyed, Ragnarok may break apart. With both Wild and Craft gone, who could still be running the Ragnarok? Zero. I have a bad feeling about this. Just be careful, okay? Alright. This mission? Yeah. Alright, ready for transfer. Transfer. Zero. Zero, this isn't good. Ragnarok is speeding up. If you can halt the core now, you might still be able to stop it. Hurry. Alright, here it is. Uh, final mission. Finally, man. Turn off that cyber off, because I'm not so good. Yeah, final stage here. Um, I'll said that for the last time, the final time. But yeah, simple, nothing too hard, really. Nice music. You can see in the background, we're pretty high in like space, you know? We're falling down towards the earth. It's not very healthy for the earth or the space, but whatever. Pretty simple stage, just kind of climb up these things. You just have to hold up and they'll rise for you. Just kind of try not to get hit and maybe you can get some extra stuff here energy tanks. But, like I said, I already filled those up. Stage doesn't have uh, too much to offer, but, you know, halfway through, as usual, we'll have a um, little boss rush to refight all the bosses that we already fought. Here we go. See you in a bit.
was the boss rush. Um, the music I used was the opening stage for Zero from Mega Man X4. I just thought it'd be neat to use Zero's theme from Mega Man X4 and Mega Man Zero 4. I don't know. But whatever. Last part of the stage, we're getting closer to the Earth. Um, falling a lot faster. You can see the background shaking. Uh, here we go. This part's pretty easy on a Game Boy Advance, but... Or, uh, DS, if you're playing the Zero Collection. But, like I said, I'm gonna blame the controller as much as I can. And, um, you know, this part's gonna be a little harder. But yeah, just hold up. Don't fall into those spikes there. That's, like, the only, um, hazard here. The spikes. Insta-kill, not very healthy. And, uh, up ahead here, there's one last chance to fill up your, um, sub-tanks. Um, there's some health. If you get hit, um, and you get more health, then that health will not fill up your sub-tank, it'll instead just fill up your health. Um, don't know if I explained this, but in order to get extra energy for your sub-tank, you need to be at full health. Yeah, not getting hit here would be ideal, as there's a giant health canister. <laughs> right there. I just messed it up, but whatever. I think all my E-tanks are sufficiently supplied for this final boss coming up. Of which I won't spoil because you're about to see it in two seconds. I wonder whoever could it be that's operating right now. Hmm. What if it's like me or something? What if it's Seal? Yeah, that'd be pretty messed up. But yeah, I guess we'll find out in a second. Here's it is. So this is the Ragnarok core. <laughs> Welcome to your front seat for the end of the world. That voice, Dr. Wild. How did you survive that attack from Ragnarok? Oh, oh. Survive? That's easy. Because I can't die. What? What happened to you? <laughs> did my mechanical body surprise you? Did you think that I was a Reploid and you could fight me? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I am pure human. Even with a body that looks like this. How? When the Dark Elf took control of the Reploids and destroyed the Mavericks in the Elf Wars, the humans of the, mo of the time modified me. They transferred all of my memories to program data, and switched my body from the for this armor with the power to rejuvenate me. Do you have any idea what that means? I can't age, and wounds heal more quickly than normal. After the war, I was cursed to live an eternity in a world without light or nature. The humans expelled me from near Arcadia. <gasps> Justice, freedom, worthless ideals. You reploids are just machines, but you started a war a long time ago in the name of freedom. And humans, look what they did to me. Driving me away while spouting the word justice. Zero, would you insist on saving them? Controlling the reploids is nothing. The destruction of all mankind is only fleeting. Not quite alive, not quite dead. Forever, by my side. I'll make you suffer a fate far greater than anything ever experienced before. Oh boy, I don't- I, uh, hope he doesn't, like, fuse with the Ragnarok core or something. That'd be pretty, um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, actually, that's kind of neat looking. Oh, look, a cape. <laughs> I'll teach you that there is no place for fools to hide. Fools must live under my rule, and my rule alone. Thanks to Ragnarok. <laughs> While I don't think you're thinking this true, if you fuse with the Ragnarok core, and then when it crashes into the earth, I don't think you're gonna, like, survive, you know? not gonna end out very good for you, but whatever, it does make for a cool looking game. Final boss. So yeah, Wild here, he likes to teleport around. If you want to hit him with your um, fully charged saber, that does a nice amount of damage. You know, and then he sends down these knives, and um, if this ball in the sky sk um, hits one of them, then they'll start sending out waves on the ground. Not very happy. 
Um, but yeah, just keep attacking this dude, and he'll die eventually. He sends out these balls every now and then. And, um, the dude's got quite a bit of, uh, attacks, but as long as you keep hitting with those, uh, fully charged single shots. Like, that's my advice for the whole game series, right? Um, should be perfectly fine. Theoretically. Yeah, so if you keep doing what I'm doing, you surely wouldn't die. Especially if something like a rock like that. <sighs> so sad. Just kidding, let's get back to this. Uh, <laughs> we got zero lives, hopefully we can do this in one attempt. I'm gonna have to redo the whole level in boss rush and everything. And I don't really want to. Let's go wild. Not sure what he said, but I mean, I'm sure he was saying something. Like, um, I'm actually I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay, so according to a game facts page that I found, he's saying ideals and stuff is utter nonsense. I'm sure that's just a rough translation. But yeah, there you go. Um, anyway, we're back here. Um, again, same attacks. I'm just gonna try not to die this time. Though. Pretty simple idea for a video game. I think I'm actually doing a little bit better this time. Not really, actually. I only have one down my hole. But yeah, here's his, one of his special attacks here. He likes to heal himself, which is pretty, pretty mean, considering that I can't really get out of sub tanks. So, my kid. Um, but yeah, another one of his attacks is, um, yeah, this attack that he's gonna use here. He's gonna summon his wild numbers from the previous game, and they're all gonna, they're all gonna use one of their moves from the last game. You know, it's pretty neat. Um, I especially thought it was kind of neat because uh, in his bile, his bile. Um, it said that Dr. Wild specializes in robot regeneration, so him bringing back his, his dudes from the last game is pretty neat in detail. But yeah, almost there. He might use um, this attack again to bring back his next set of the Wild dudes and members, the soldiers. But um, I suppose we'll see in a second. He's pretty low on health. As am I, but whatever, disregard that one. Um, the next next combo I get on him should finish the fight. Here we go. Oh no, don't heal. Oh, how dare. But whatever, here we go. And that's the game, guys. We're done. We're done with the game. Ah, I can't stop the descent. Zero, reaching critical speed. If it goes any faster, I won't be able to get you back. Hurry. No, this isn't over yet. Of course. How many Capcom to give their bosses like four forms? Well, <laughs> I told you, I can't die. Nobody can stop Ragnarok now. Z Zero, there's no time. Get back here. No, there is a way. If I destroy Wiles' core, the explosion will take Ragnarok out with it. If Ragnarok is blown apart, it no longer poses a threat. But what about you? <laughs> Are you even capable of it? The Reploid hero. Protecting justice and humanity. I am one of those humans you were sworn to protect. Do you have it in you to defeat me? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Seeing that used to freak me out as a kid. No kidding. And that too. I never cared about justice, and I don't ever recall calling myself a hero. I have always only fought for the people I believe in. Sounds like a familiar line. I won't hesitate. If an enemy appears in front of me, I will destroy it. Hey, that also sounds like a familiar line. Hey, let's go back to zero one for a second. Inspiration. Oh, 
I'll do what you want. Rest for a while. I will handle it. You can count on me. I won't stop. When an enemy appears, I will terminate it. Okay, so not the exact same line, but whatever. Zero! 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 Believe in me! Zero! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, here's one of my favorite tracks ever in the final boss. Okay, you know what? I keep saying that about Mega Man. Me all of Mega Man has amazing music, but whatever. Final boss here, you might notice that counter in the background. We have, uh, two minutes, 120 seconds to beat this guy. Or else Ragnarok is gonna crash into Earth. You can see, uh, Earth kinda getting closer in the background. Neat little detail. But yeah, I'm not sure what this boss is supposed to be. How it got messed with... Stuck together with a bunch of cords and then turned out to be this thing. But, whatever, man. This boss is, um, actually really intense with the music, so you know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna let the music play. Alright, see you in a bit. Rough translation of that was impossible for someone like me to perish, perish and be destroyed. Or something like that, I don't know. I just saw that in the game facts. But whatever. 47, that's not very good, but you know what? That average has kept us at that B for most of this game. And that is honestly amazing. Wait, what happened to Zero, though? Like, actually... <laughs> Ragnarok is... is breaking apart. Ragnarok has entered the atmosphere. Most of it will burn up on entry. Impact with Area Zero has been averted. Mission successful. Zero! Come in, Zero! Zero, please. Come in. There's no response from the receiver. The connection has been lost. Dot dot dot. Seal. This next scene kinda made me cry, man. So sad. Oh, a shooting star. Wow, look, lots of shooting stars. No, loser pieces of Ragnarok. Does this mean we're saved? Craft. Zero. Did you reach zero? Dot 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 again. Dot dot dot. Zero. Why? How could this happen? After saving all of us, and just when humans and reploids were finally coming together, what do we do now? Dot 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 again. Dot 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 again. I'm seeing a theme here. It's okay. I'm sure zero is still out there. And one day, he'll come back to us. I don't know, man. We'll see. See you. Yeah. Pretty sad. Here's some nice music called Frisia. 
I'll let the vocal parts sing out and then uh, I'll come back to this. Yeah, that um, vocal part is only in Japan, um, so I had to actually import the song and just put it in the video. But yeah, that was the um, that was pretty sad, man. I, I kind of felt like crying during that. And look at Seal, she's just there, sobbing next to the little tree, the last remnants of nature, with Ragnarok falling from the sky. Um, from a story perspective, Zero Four is like the best in the entire series. It does have some weird parts like the, um, the crafting mechanic, it's pretty bad. Um, the Cyber Elf is alright, but not as good as Zero Three. I don't know why they had to switch it up, but... Yeah, other than that, this is a uh, generally alright game. The weather system's bad. <laughs> Period. Um, but yeah. Love the story. Well, I don't know what happened to Zero or Wild. Well, I guess they must have died permanent. And, uh, yeah. Here's some quick trivia for ya. In, uh, zero 01, <laughs> Seal is actually, like, 14. And by zero 04, I guess she's, like, 16 or 17. So, yeah, kind of young to, you know, be leading a resistance and have a love interest with a hundred-year-old Reploid. <laughs> but whatever, I don't- I don't judge. Another thing, the, uh, Japanese versions of the games actually had, um, full voice lines. Um, full recorded voice lines, so yeah. If, if you wanted to listen to the Japanese voicing instead of mine, then, um, that, that hurts, you know? That really hurts. But whatever. That's Zero Four, guys. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Zero, you, you believed in us. Now it's our turn to show you that your faith in us was not wasted, misplaced. Same word. Watch, Zero. I'll make this world a better place. One where humans and reploids can walk hand in hand, living in peace. Just... just come back someday. I... I believe in you. Yeah. Well. <sighs> Rest in peace, Zero. There's his helmet there. I'm pretty sure he's dead. That's game. We got hard mode. Which I can do, but I will not because it's not as very fun. And also a minigame, which I won't do, but you can see on YouTube. On any other channel that did the minigames. You know, I really shouldn't, you know, do that. Direct attention away from my YouTube channel for better content. <laughs> But whatever, um, yeah, if you watch this whole thing, you deserve, like, a golden star. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna put the, um, I'm gonna go through the database just real quick. You can read that if you want. But, um, yeah, peace and sheep. See you in the next playthrough. Whatever that is, whether it be X3, Shadow of the Colossus, Journey, Ristar. I got a lot of games to do now that I have a screen recorder. Or for HDMI recorder. But yeah, here's the database if you wanted that. Um, but I'm leaving for now. Peace. And sheep.
fighting for me to go on? What? What am I fighting for? 